Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, Tom Tucker giving you a Buoy 10 update for Wednesday, August 18th. Um, today, after my uh, less than stellar start yesterday, I decided to try and fish the first part of that incoming tide near Hammond. Um, that tide still wasn't fully coming in all that great, so I was definitely nose towards the ocean and I was covering a little bit of ground. Um, we got a few bites there, um, released a wild coho, and then there was a couple couple of people getting bit around me, but nothing crazy. So I decided to dip over to the Washington side um, where it seemed like everybody was boat wise. Uh, we instantly kind of got away from the crowd and started to get some fish. Um, a lot of bites today. These fish are biting really weird. Uh, we'll have them pull and drag, pull and drag, and then gone. You know, waiting for the rod to load up, loads up, loads up, gone. Um, had that happen a lot today. Um, today, overall, was really tough for me. Um, I ended up staying on the water real late to get fish. Um, yeah, that being said, once that incoming tide really started to push in, um, I was fishing kind of around a Waco area and uh, got bit, um, you know, released some shorts, uh, wild coho, stuff like that got one nice king um, and then everything kind of slowed down so I went back up kind of towards the bridge and it seemed like everybody had the same idea and uh, just kind of nose towards the ocean waiting as those fish passed me by and there was a pretty good bite going on um, definitely you could tell some boats had it figured out better than others uh, you know I don't even think it was that they were in the right travel lane they were definitely just fishing the right depths getting their gear down where they wanted it. Um, there was a lot of close calls boat wise out there. So if you're gonna nose into spots like that, give yourself some room. You don't gotta be right next to people to catch fish. Um, yeah, just space it out, man. There's fish everywhere. Um, we ended up getting some chances there, but didn't end up getting to kill anything. We had a triple header at one point. Uh, the doubles going off and we're worrying about that and then the other boats yelling at me that my uh, bow rod getting blown up um, we end up losing that one pretty quick and then getting the other two close to the boat but just uh couldn't put them in the hoop uh so we were kind of i ran up river from there kind of near shipwreck to see if i could find those fish again and i couldn't find them um, didn't see anything happening um, way until that tide started going out and we were getting a little bit of a consistent bite and that's where we ended up finding finding some fish today um, Really nice quality kings, you know 18 20 pound upriver fish uh, Cutting excellent and just giving pretty awesome fights. I guess if there's a One thing to take away from today that bite is definitely a little erratic Definitely let those fish chew long enough. We had one just chewing for at least 10 seconds today before the rod fully loaded up. Um, and it just looks like, you know, like a trouser bite. And then all of a sudden the rod loads and they're big fish, but they're just biting like measly coho. Um, anyway, that's all I got for today, guys. Cheers.